Hello, welcome to my another session. In this session, I have a talk about the structure and the function of the scrotum. As you know that the scrotum, this is the first part of the male reproductive system and which is sac-like structure and the scrotum present outside of the abdominal cavity and hangs in between the two thighs. As you know that the pair of testes present inside the scrotum or present inside the intrascrotal sac. We know the spermatogenesis process or the formation of sperm takes place inside the testes. And the formation of sperm or the spermatogenesis process which needs 2 degree less temperature than the core body temperature that is the 36.6 degree Celsius. So 2 degree less temperature which favors the formation of sperm. That's why the testes or the scrotum present outside of the abdominal cavity. So scrotum is nothing but this is the sac of this is the sac of skin or this is the superficial fascia of skin. So suppose that this is the scrotum and this is the superficial layer of skin. The outer surface of the scrotum which is provided with thin hair at or after puberty. So the, these are the hairs. The thin hairs are present on the surface of the scrotum which develop at or after of the puberty. The development of testes, suppose that this is the single testes present in this side and this is another testes which present in this side. The median or the middle septum which divides the testes or which divides the scrotum into two chambers. This is the middle septum which divide the intrascotral membrane into two halves, right and the left halves. And each compartment for each testis. So this compartment having one testis and this compartment having another testis. So these are the AP. Did miss. So this is the epididymis, and the testis is positioned by the connective tissue strand, and this connective tissue strand is known as the spermatic cord. So suppose that this is the spermatic cord, which holds the testis. So the testis is positioned by the spermatic cord. This is the spermatic cord, connective tissue strand. The testes connect with the scrotal sac at the posterior region by the connective tissue strand and this is known as the gubernaculum. This is the gubernaculum. So the testes present inside the intrascotal space. The outer surface or the skin which is highly pigmented than the other part of the body and the outer skin or the superficial skin of the scrotum which is highly wrinkled. The testis or the scrotum which has the power to regulate, regulate the temperature of the testis and regulate the temperature of the uh, scrotum or inside the scrotum. If it is cold then the testis are pulled closer to the warmth of the body 
and the superficial skin of the scrotum becomes heavily wrinkled and it becomes the scrotum becomes short to reduce the hot lo heat loss if it is warm then the a uh, scrotum which hangs down and the skin becomes flaccid to uh, uh, for the cooling of the uh, scrotum is and it is regulated by the two set of muscle that is the smooth muscles in the that is the smooth muscles in the wall of the in the wall of the superficial layer this smooth muscles which help for the wrinkle of the skin or the superficial layer of the scrotum this smooth muscles is known as the ductus or ductus there is another set of muscles which is the skeletal muscles which obliquely extends from the trunk and these muscles is the premaster this is the skeletal muscle obliquely extends from the trunk and this muscle is the premaster premaster muscle so by means of premaster and the ductus muscle the up and down movement of the scrotum takes place that's why which help for the regulation of the temperature inside the scrotum actually the development of testis takes place inside the abdominal cavity during the developmental period so after development complete development of testis these testis descend into the scrotum so there is the connection in between the abdominal cavity and the scrotum and this connection or this canal which communicate the scrotum and the abdominal cavity which is known as the inguinal canal and this inguinal canal this inguinal canal it temporarily closed but somehow this inguinal canal may reopen and there is the bulging of intestinal loop and which causes the inguinal hernia inguinal hernia so the reopening of inguinal canal causes the inguinal hernia sometimes there is the failure of descending of the testis from the abdominal cavity to the scrotum in this condition the testis present as such inside the abdominal cavity and this condition is known as the crypto orchidism crypto orchidism this condition is known as the crypto orchidism in this condition the testis as such present inside the abdominal cavity